This is the Riverhawk Report for Saturday, November 14th, 2009. A busy day for UMass Lowell Athletics. Four teams in action. Women's soccer, field hockey, volleyball, and hockey. Three were winners. One will play for a national championship. And that is where we will start this report. The UMass Lowell Field Hockey Riverhawks moved into the NCAA Division II National Championship game with a dramatic come-from-behind to one semifinal victory over Stonehill. Sammy Macy, the Northeast 10 Conference Player of the Year, got the game winner with just a minute 46 remaining in regulation. UMass Lowell had trailed early. Stonehill got on the board first in the 21st minute of play, and the game stayed 1-0 until the second half, until Jackie Moulton put the Riverhawks on the board. That was in the 42nd minute of play and set the stage for the Macy Dramatics. For the Riverhawks, it will be their third consecutive visit to the championship game, their fifth trip ever. They look for their second national title on Sunday when they face Bloomsburg University. The game will be played at Stonehill, it's a one o'clock start. For UMass Lowell women's soccer, it was a story of frustration too often repeated. The Riverhawks season is over. They were defeated by Merrimack in a battle of penalty kicks after a scoreless 110 minutes of soccer. Merrimack won the shootout 4-3. The Riverhawks finished the season 12-5-4. UMass Lowell Volleyball was a winner in the opening round of the Northeast 10 tournament. They defeated Pace University. A 3-1 final. The scores 25-18, 22-25, 25-15, and 28-26. Sarah Kosha led the way with 13 kills and 3 blocks. Vicki Wong added 11 kills, 6 digs, and a couple of aces. Elsa Legrand came up big as well. She had 10 digs, 7 kills, 7 blocks, and 2 aces. The Riverhawks face Southern Connecticut in the tournament semifinal. That'll be at the Costello Gymnasium. Saturday afternoon, 2 o'clock. The number five of the nation, UMass Lowell Hockey Riverhawks, turned in a dominating final 40 minutes of hockey, and it was enough. The Riverhawks, featuring a youth movement, defeated a stubborn Alabama Huntsville club, a 3-1 final. A hotly contested game, uh, a game that we kind of uh, had a pretty good vision how it was going to unfold. They're a good team. They compete really hard. Very strong defensive team, and you can see their, their goaltender's exceptional. We uh, we had a lot of great A opportunities in the second and third, especially the third period. All in all, uh, um, on the road against a tough opponent, it's a good victory. That is head coach Blaze McDonald. The Riverhawks trailed after the first frame, won nothing. But when the club returned for the second period, everything had changed. Well, we uh, nothing more than getting our, our mind in the right place and uh, remembering what we want to stand for. What do we want to be known for in terms of how we play and what's low hockey? And just, uh, I think the captains in the locker room took care of themselves. The Riverhawks unloaded 26 shots on goal over the final two periods. Freshman Colin Wright scored twice and sophomore David Valerani added the insurance. Trying to break Morrison in on goal shot. Saved by Nevin Hamilton and he holds on. No! Puck dribbles in. Scores! The body controls it behind the net. Ferreira puts it across in front. Nobody there to collect. Shot by Gamble. Shot by Colin Wright. He scores! River Hawks have tied it up. Colin Wright. And uh, save was made. Rebound. This is Wright. Now to Wetmore. Wetmore for Wright. Shot. Scores! And the Riverhawks take. Yeah, as a freshman, he's been playing pretty well. You know, he's going to continue to evolve, and he goes in that hard. And when he's strong on pucks, he's very difficult to play against. Bought a head shoe into the attack zone. Mike shoot. Right side. Force deep. Controls. Now, put it across in front. Deflected by Valerani. He scores! What a pass! Michael shoot it, David. Goaltender Nevin Hamilton made 19 saves in picking up his third win of the year. UMass Lowell is now 6 2 and 1. They face Alabama Huntsville again Saturday night. And that's the Riverhawk Report for Saturday, November 14th, 2009.